Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 tutorial. If you have watched the first tutorial and got past the first tutorial, now you're on your way to making some awesome, amazing games using the Allegro 5 um, game programming library. So to get started, I'm just going to be doing a quick run through um, of what the code actually really does and then in the next tutorial we're going to be learning about these message boxes here and how you can manipulate them to do special things within your program so let's get started in the first line of the code we are including allegro.h into our program and what this is doing is telling the, our visual studio or code blocks or whatever compiler you're using it is letting us know that we will be using Allegro functions in our program and we want to make them available to us. Now in our second line of our code we include something called the Allegro native dialog meaning that we when we do dialog boxes or we use message boxes or anything that requires a window we want to make it we want to style it and use certain functions that are built into that specific operating system. As I mentioned before my I have a Mac theme on my phone. I mean, on my computer, sorry. And with the Mac theme, um, all these buttons are different than actual Windows 7 buttons, right? So when we have a message box or something pop up, on Mac computers, we want it to show these three buttons on the message box when we create a window or something. And then when we create a window in Windows 7, we want it to show up like the Windows 7 buttons. And when we have our program running um, in Linux or whatever, then we want it. We want the buttons to show up based on how they really look in Linux and the window styling, etc., etc. So using the native dialog, we have the windows. The windows that we create will look native to the actual operating system, and this is a really big bonus when making games. So, in the next line, um, we do Allegro underscore display, and we have a pointer to a variable name called display. And we haven't initialized anything to it, we just set it as display first, because we have to check to see if Allegro is actually initialized before we can even create our display. We have to initialize Allegro first. So in our first line, we, we initialize Allegro using al underscore init. Now we're saying that if it is not initialized, so if this function doesn't work, if it doesn't return true, then we want to create a message box showing you an error on the screen. And when this error is resolved, then basically it's done. And after this error, you could put return you'll put return like negative one saying that it would like it didn't return it returned with an error or whatever whatever it's up to you you could do whatever you want so if the window was not if Allegro was not initialized properly you want to show an error then end the program sh saying that it ended with the error now if Allegro was indeed initialized then it means that we can use some of Allegro's functions so what we do is that remember we created our variable but we never initialized it much like you say we make an integer variable I can name the variable a but it has no use to me it has itself no use to me unless I give it a value so what we're doing is we're, we're giving our display variable a value and that value is actually going to be the window that we create so to create the window it's a long function called al underscore create underscore display in the parameters we specify the width in pixels of our window and the height in pixels for our window therefore the window is 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels long so simple enough now we check to see if the display was not created then we do another message box saying that the window cannot be created for whatever reason and then we can do return negative one if we want again and if everything is successful and you get no errors then we destroy the display this is what I forgot to do in my last tutorial we have to destroy the display since we have our pointer to our display we have to we created a point in memory 
uh, we allocated it in memory ourselves so therefore we have to deallocate that space in memory ourselves we use that using the al underscore destroy underscore display function and our display was called display so we destroy that meaning that we de deallocated, deallocated it meaning that there is no memory leaks we use returns um, zero meaning it's ran through successfully and that is the end of the program so that's it for this tutorial next tutorial will be more native message boxes so hope you enjoy this tutorial don't forget to comment if you have a question post it on my community on my website codingmadeeasy.ca so thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed it and bye